What's up guys, it's Matthew Gregory in Birmingham, Alabama. We've got a lot going on today. We've got 30 flips we're managing right now. Let's go check it out. Okay, so, okay, let's talk. Seriously, pay attention, okay. How fast are we gonna get this house done? Six okay. weeks. I think four weeks we could do it here. You don't think so? I mean, we, we started out talking about a couple of things. Now we're doing kitchens and bathrooms and we're moving walls and we're breaking So I don't know how many the average house flipper has going on at a time. I know for, for us, we built up a team that can handle, you know, upwards of 35 flips at a time. So we're gonna gut this kitchen and then take this wall out. Miguel, we're gonna take the cabinets out okay. and that mantle and then we're gonna see how the brick looks and then we might have a new mantle built. Um, currently we have 30, but um, which kind of feels a little slow for me right now, but but uh, I'm trying to ramp it up again. You know, in the spring is when we typically have the most flips going cause in this market inventory is so low that the more we can get on the market at the right timing, the better everybody is. Real estate, a lot of it is about timing. So you want to put your maximum amount of flips on the market in the springtime. Man, I feel like that's a small shower for a house as big as this. I think what needs to happen is get that closet out of here, extend this closer to that window, and then have a vessel tub. I get asked all the time, how do we manage so many flips at at a time and you know it takes a lot of people to pull this off for years you know it was just me and as i scaled up i had to make the right hires more crews and so now we we have a lot of people involved so this is the uh sand topper lane house um we started this job about eight weeks ago um this house has been sitting for about two and a half three years it had a bunch of uh, water damage from the roof being opened up busted pipes electrical and stuff that been chewed up animals uh, that were living in here we're about um let's say a week and a half two weeks out having this having this one 100 percent done hey i just text you a picture of this house this is what it was like two weeks ago i don't know if you can get it on camera crazy huh i'm thrilled to get these houses but you know who else is thrilled is the neighbors and when i buy them you know we come in here and make everybody happy. There was so much rot and bad wood, we just, just ripped everything out and just redid it all. So apparently this house might've had some, some, some interesting people living here. I, I don't know, just from what I've, what I've heard on you know, people talking, I think pineapple represents something. Some, some very friendly neighbors. Okay guys, we just looked at a bunch of houses today and now we're gonna go close on my Linda Avenue flip. So we have a flips going on in all different stages. We've been to one that we haven't started on that we're kind of laying it out today. We've been to one that I've got crews at, and but now we're at a house that is actually completed and we just got it staged a few days ago. So we're gonna go in here and check this house out. Finished and ready to go. We have built a great team of subs and crews that work mainly for us only. So you know, what what it takes is people. It takes a lot of people to, to pull that off. Built in 1959. Okay. Probably the original, just about everything in the world. Those are my favorite kind of houses, ma'am. When can we go look at it? We can probably meet at 2.30 or, or 3, would that work? Yeah, let me call um, right now and see if 3 o'clock would be okay. All right, thank you, ma'am. I'll call you back. Okay, you, bye. That's kind of how it works. 